some of the concerns that people have had uh, with COVID, the you know the how it affects the real estate market right now, and how is the industry and and everyone dealing with um, uh, you know with the with the risks of COVID, etc. Um, you know, as far as how is the market, well, it's actually it's actually really really strong right now. I would say that. COVID basically had a, a pausing effect uh, to uh, to the market. It started off, 2020 started off very strong as it was. Um, we were already seeing multiple offers uh, in, in February uh, and early March before, you know, COVID kind of the, the um, shutdowns, et cetera, uh, started to occur, uh, which basically just, you know, the real estate market kind of went on hold for a little bit. Uh, the, the interesting thing though about during COVID is that there were still people that had to buy and there were still people that had to sell. And while a lot of listings came off the market, we we had a couple um, there and a lot of buyers kind of said, well, listen, I'm gonna take a pause. I'm gonna wait and see what happens. There were still the people that, that were in the necessity of, of selling and buying. Thankfully, we didn't see any reduction in pricing. It basically, you know, the the, the supply and demand went from here to here, but they were still even. And, um, and so we still had that balance, which maintained the prices and, you know, activity and sales, sure, they dropped, um, but, but it, but it held steady. And then now, you know, once we kind of went into like phase two and three, um, that's just opened the things back up again to where we were uh, pre-COVID. And so it's it continues to be a, a, an extremely strong market right now. We are seeing a lot of um, a lot of new listings coming on the market and a lot of things selling right away. One thing to consider will be how the uh, the immigration factor well will play into the real estate market in maybe a year or two. Uh, one thing that we all that we all know is that uh, immigration d does drive the real estate market, and you know we're bringing in roughly 500,000 new immigrants uh, every year. Uh, a lot of them come to the Toronto area, right? They go to Vancouver, Toronto, Montreal. We obviously benefit from from that that uh, that immigration, and uh, if if that buyer pool isn't here now, will that buyer pool not entering the market? Um, you know, in a year or two, we might see the effects of that. Um, it'll be interesting to see again if we're going to say statistically, you know, new immigrants will come to the will come to a new country. They'll rent for a couple of years, uh, on average three to five years. Uh, at that point, they'll decide on where do I want to live and, and you know, do I want to where do I want to buy, right? Um, you know, so if we're looking at new immigrants coming in and not renting right now, if we look at three to five years from now, how will that how will that play out? Right? How long will the border be closed for, and how long will we not have that inflow of, of, of new immigrants into into uh, into the country and into the, the GTA uh, uh, buyer pool? The the counter to that potentially is low interest rates. I don't think they're going to be going up at least well. The Bank of Canada said for probably at least two years and potentially longer. Also to add to that is is millennials. So we look at millennials as a as the largest you know age cohort, um, uh, eclipsing the uh, the baby boomers by roughly. You know, two to three hundred thousand, depending on what stats you read. As they come in, they're aging up on mass. They're, I think, for the most part, are in the buying, the buying age, right? And at least in their mid twenties and, and, and older. Um, so, first time home buyers, second time home buyers, if they're coming into that home buying, uh, uh, you know, process and getting into that stage of their lives with low interest rates, that could very well be the, you know, the the counterbalance to lack of immigration and and continue to have the the real estate market you know, truck along, if you will.